What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can tell if your Honda or Acura needs a valve adjustment. So I shot a video a couple years ago on uh, adjusting valves in a Civic. Um, I'll put a card up in the corner to that video if you guys wanna look at it, but uh, one of the common comments that I was getting on that video was uh, a lot of people asking, um, how do I know if my valves are out of adjustment? How do I know if I need to do this procedure? Um, so that's kind of what I'm going to answer for you guys in this video. Now, um, this car in particular, I can tell you just by listening to it, they're too loose. Um, there's a lot of clatter and valve train, no valve train noise in this car. Um, obviously, they're either out of adjustment one of two ways. They're either too loose like this car or they're going to be too tight. Um, if they're too loose, you're going to hear it. And like I said, I'm going to fire this up for you so you can hear it. Um, if they're too tight, it's going to sound normal, but in my experience on um, cold start, you'll get like a random shutter in the, in the vehicle. It'll kind of cough and sputter a little bit, you know, as you, when you first fire it up. Once the vehicle's warm, it runs fine. So I'm going to uh, fire this thing up for you guys. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear this. Um, I'm not going to let it run that long just because as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to start tearing it apart and actually show you guys what gets out of adjustment and uh, you know why it sounds the way it sounds and why it does the things that it does. So with that, let me go in and uh, fire the car up. sounds worse a little bit when I put it in drive and the RPM come down, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing off because like I said, I don't really want it running that long. Alright, so this is the noise inside the car. Um, right now you can see it's got, car has 102,000 on it. Let me fire it up. If I put it in gear, you hear the tapping sound? That's what we're trying to get rid of here. All right, guys. Now, at this point, as you guys can see, I've pretty much torn down the whole top of this engine. Um, unfortunately, on one of these Honda V6s, that's pretty much what you have to do to be able to get into the valve train to be able to do this valve adjustment. Like I was talking about earlier in the video, why would you need to do a valve adjustment? Well, there's pretty much one of two reasons. Um, first of all, it's going to be noise. Now, obviously, I misadjusted this one so you guys could hear it. Um, second reason is it's going to be cold start misfires. So when you first turn the car on first thing in the morning, and the car sort of shakes a little bit for about 10 to 15 seconds after you start it up, and then it goes away and it runs fine the rest of the time you're driving it, I'd look at doing a valve adjustment. Um, I've seen both of them. I've seen both symptoms. So this one, as you guys heard, um, you know, had definite valve train noise, and I've had cold start misfires on all cylinders. So I've had four cylinder engines where it has a random misfire just every now and then. Um, doesn't quite run right till it gets warmed up. So why do you have to adjust valves on a Honda? And pretty much no other manufacturer you have to do this to. Um, I'm sure there's exceptions to this rule, but Honda is pretty much um, the one that it's super common to do this to. So the way this valve train is set up, as you guys can see, there's a roller down here that rides on a camshaft, and that roller is directly connected to the tip of the valve. 
there is nothing in between to take up any slack. So as the vehicle is driven and as the vehicle wears over the course of 100, 150,000 miles, clearances in here are going to change. Things are gonna wear, I don't care what motor oil you run, things are gonna wear. It's just what's gonna happen. Now, Hondas, because there's so few parts in here, there's no way to take up this slack as the vehicle wears. So that is why with a Honda, you have to tear this thing down and basically set the, the valves to the correct lash or the correct clearance so they no longer make noise. So other manufacturers use a mechanism called a lifter or a lash adjuster to basically take up this slack. Honda doesn't use them. Um, I mean, there's obviously good and bad to, you know, both sides of that coin. Honda doesn't use them, which is good because it's one less part to wear out. The flip side of that coin is you have to tear the engine down every 100,000 miles, you know, at least take the valve covers off and readjust all of these valves so you don't have noise or misfire issues. So hopefully this diagram gives you guys a better idea of what's actually going on here. So let me zoom in to the... Uh, the top left uh, rocker arm here. And uh, let me explain kind of, you know, what actually goes on here. Now, if you notice this rocker arm rides directly on the camshaft and it touches the tip of the valve. So as either the rocker arm wears or the tip of the valve wears, there's no way to compensate for this wear other than adjust the screw and lock it down with the lock nut, thereby adjusting the valves. So this is how pretty much all Honda setups are done. Like I said, it's great because it's real, real simple, but unfortunately there's no way to compensate for any wear that happens as the vehicle is driven over the course of 100, 150,000 miles. So the picture that I'm showing you now is a more typical valve train setup that you find in pretty much every other manufacturer except for Honda. Now, the way this works is you have the uh, the camshafts up here at the top of the screen in brown. Um, those actuate the rocker arms for the intake and exhaust valves in blue. Um, the valves themselves are colored in green. And if you look, there is on the uh, on the right side of the rocker arm, there is a little piece of yellow there. That is a lifter. And what that lifter does, it's fed with pressurized motor oil. And that lifter is constantly pushing up toward the top of the screen on the rocker arm. What that does is it ensures that there's no free play between the camshaft and the tip of the valve. And as these parts wear, the tip of the valve, the rocker arm, the camshaft, as any of all these parts wear, the lifter continuously pushing up will compensate for that wear. That's why other manufacturers don't require valve adjustments because the lifters will automatically take up this clearance. So yes, other manufacturers, you know, doing valve adjustments isn't very common, but that is why you have to do them on Hondas. Um, like I said, there's, there's good and bad to both sides of that coin. Um, but if you own a Honda, I'm gonna tell you right now, once you get between 100 and 150,000 miles, just figure you're gonna have to come in here, uh, do a valve adjustment and put everything back together. So. All right guys, so as you can see, I've got everything back together. Um, one quick note is if you guys are gonna adjust your valves on, on your Honda, they really don't need much of an adjustment at all. Um, like I was showing you earlier in the video, that's highly exaggerated. You will never find one. Um, when you take the valve cover off, you will never find one that bad. Um, the adjustments are very, very, very minimal at the most, um, but they do make a difference. So. With that, I'm gonna let you guys hear what it sounds like, you know, before and after. Hopefully the uh, hopefully the microphone's gonna be able to pick up, you know, what it sounds like, but you guys can debate that down in the comments. All right guys, so that's what it sounds like uh, before and after. Um, and that's basically why, you know, Hondas need valve adjustments every so often. Now, 
I can't really give you guys like, yes, it needs it at 100,000. Yes, it needs it at 75,000. It's really kind of on a case by case basis and it's based on really how you drive. So a vehicle that's driven strictly on the highway, um, we'll see a lot more mileage than a vehicle that drives in the city. Therefore, the vehicle that drives in the city is gonna have more running hours on it than a vehicle on the highway. So what I'm trying to say is, if you do a lot of city driving as opposed to highway driving, you're obviously gonna have to do valve adjustments at a lower mileage than somebody put, that puts on a lot of highway miles. Um, kind of like the rest of the maintenance. You know, if you do a lot of city driving, you gotta change your oil more often. So. It's kind of the same deal. Um, but yeah, so that's so that's why Hondas are the way they are. That's the way they sound when uh, they need a valve adjustment. So uh, as always guys, if you guys like the video, hit like. If you wanna see more content, go down and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.